morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever the fluff you are. And yes, this is another catch up of that demolition site. By the way, warning, it's hecking windy. It's a bit gusty, it's a bit blowy. Wait, let's have a look. Start where we used to start. You can see a little bit earlier, I had these guys scraping around. So, that diggy been uh, moving some of the concrete and little bits from there and we scraped it up and did a lot of cleaning. There's quite a bit of cleaning going on here to get it all ready and stuff. The steps are still there and all that lot, so but yeah, it's uh, getting prepped for whatever they're going to be doing next, whatever the next stage on that one is. So uh, they're prepping that bit, which uh, that's all good. Anyway. Some of the other uh, questions is because I've got two chans, does we combine them back up again like it used to be and uh, put more rainbow flavoured content back up on main channel or does we keep it separate as uh, everything separate on uh, the uh, second channel or Vixen Warrior that is where all of the uh, more rainbow flavoured content will go and a few other little things but the main channel has everything else and I think it might personally I think it might just be easier just combining everything back to the one channel and keeping the other channel basically uh, as a uh, separate entity but where we can keep some of the old stuff and archive it because that's what I might, I might do but I'm going to flip you all around so you can have a look at the progress on this, which, wow, that is uh, moving along quite well. That is coming along pretty nicely. There's a lot of stuff been moved. Do I have an arm space to do? Yes, I do. I'll give you a bit of a zoom in from over here. You can see down there, love that lot in there. Uh, well, I know it's been a week since I was here, but every time I turn up, it looks like things are dramatically changing. And it's getting a lot further along now than it has been before. So, as you can see, once I pan you around and give another zoom back out, more of the cleaning has gone on over here, and it's. Uh, getting ready for down there so it's uh, going on over there so I'll just give you a quick pause and then we will go over the other side so pause zoom in on that bit of plant there wow it's definitely coming down and if you zoom right in you can even see on those railings that are there that weren't taken out before they ripped it all out I'll say one thing, walking past the chippy over there, don't have to make you hungry. But, zoom you back out to me. You can have a look at that one there. Give you a quick, a little bit peaky peaky over here. We've still got the walkway over here. Yeah, I don't have my big boots on, but I can still try to keep going there. It's a clear view of over here. Okay. I'll pause you all again, and we'll go over the last bits, and then uh, we'll be done. So, pause!
Well now, that was a lot for staying there. Yes, sir. That has um, opened up quite the vista. My God. I know some of you don't like it when I ham up the acting, but come on. Sometimes you've just got to. Especially when you get treated to a view like that, where it's just opened up. Well, it started off as uh, quite a damp, soggy morning. It's uh, turned into quite a nice day, actually. And I'll scan over here. There's a few question marks about whether the clock tower is staying or it's a garner. So, yeah, who knows? Who knows? There's a few question marks over that. And uh, I'm going to just zoom back into uh, that bit of railing over there that you can just see which has survived for now but won't be surviving for very much longer. Give them a zoom will actually work. When they get you there. Oh. Jeez. Um, for what is it? Effectively a three year long project. There's a lot of other stuff going on. It's uh, going to be quite interesting with all of this lot. And, uh, with the stuff which has been planned for Eckersley as well. For some of the stuff which has also been planned for Eckersley, where there's going to be more apartments down at Eckersley, and then uh, obviously another hotel apparently, or that is what they're trying to put in for. So there'll be apparently two new hotels. I don't know whether they'll actually need two new hotels, but hey, that's the thing. At least the one down at Eckersley will actually have some parking, which is a bit of a sore subject for quite a few people. But hey, yeah. I'll have the parking, but I don't know what's going on down here. Probably not much has changed on that angle. Give you all a bit of a view of what's going on down here. Which, yes, I am a short ass, so I can't see much. But this is pretty much the best I can get from down here. It's over there. Just give you all of that. So, that. You know, also, uh, you know, like with some of the new stuff which is coming, so the cinema and everything else, would you be using it or would you rather that someone took over the existing cinema building over at uh, Robert Park? Would you uh, rather someone do that? Also a question as well, what would you uh, like to see done with what is the um, rotting carcass of the mill which was also used as part of the college? What would you out there like to see done with that? As there's uh, rumours that that might be being pulled down in about a year or two because that is um, way too far gone. But what would you rather be built there? Like have the hotel there instead and have like, you know, apartment flats over there or turn it into a housing estate or expand the park instead? Hey, just throwing it out there. There's only quite a few other things, you know, like. I know this is now a bit too far beyond saving, but what would you rather have done with this? Like some people have said in comments, like, you know, just spend a bit of money, clean it up, tidy it up, do a few mods on it, and uh, off you go. It was uh, perfectly serviceable and per perfectly cromulent. But to my knowledge of um, some of the bits, the market gate end, yeah, needed a bit of roof work doing to it, needed a cafe, uh, side cleaning up, and a few other bits and pieces. But it wasn't in need of a drastic, massive overhaul change. You know, it probably needs to be coming down, but hey, that's um, the plans and the planners, you know? And why I'm doing that is because at least you can actually all see some of the demo work that's going on around me as well, whilst I'm um, chatting up, you know? What would you rather have done? Because I know some places like Charlie and Mellon never had a cinema or haven't had it, didn't have a cinema for quite some time and then had one added in. Whereas here there's, there is stuff and a lot of other bits and pieces. It's all still half. You know? But that's by the by. What would you rather see done next? 
since we can't change any of the destinies of it. How much of the parts do you actually reckon will actually be built? You know, like, do you think all of those apartment blocks are going to get built? Do you, read, do you think that the hotel is actually going to get built and completed? And that all of the other stuff? And what company would go into the um, cinema complex or well, the new cinema building? Because obviously they're um, going full bore with that. A lot of other bits and pieces, you know? Hey. Also as well, should I um, take the music out and leave the audio raw? Because I do add the bits of music in just because having the music in um, signifies that it is one of mine. Also kind of um, helps me with the uh, balance. Quite a few other things. You know, all the things done. My sweep of the vista. I'm going to zoom out actually. I'll give you one sweep of here. If there is anything else that you uh, want to stick down below and things like that, then now um, stick your comments down below. If you like the comments, well, if you like my products, then give it a thumbs up. Share the bejeebus out of it because um, that will help the channel grow. If you want to keep helping all of this madness growing, then sub up. If, as I've said, if you've got anything to say, stick it down below. I will sign out, so I will bid you all adieu. Peace, see you star side, see you in the stars. Don't worry, life may be stressful, but always stay calm. Goodbye.